So you might notice that this snake is kind of dipping and diving a little bit. Seems kind of wobbly, almost like it can't control where its head's going. And that's kind of true. Snakes don't do this, unfortunately. At least not completely healthy ones. Um, this snake has a gene called the spider gene. Um, and this was the most recent rescue situation that I took in. Uh, they actually didn't seem to notice, um, which is, I mean, the guy who had the snake didn't know much about snakes, but this obviously isn't how ball pythons are supposed to act. Um, and this is one of the genes that personally I think shouldn't be bred, um, despite the fact that there are some really iconic breeders out there, uh, like the late Brian Barczyk, Kevin McCurley, um, a lot of people who really kind of adamantly, I think even maybe, yeah, a lot of people defend breeding this gene, um, which makes this pattern and the whites along the sides a little more apparent, but this snake's upside down right now in its own free will. Um, this is sad, this shouldn't happen. Um, yeah, so this snake is now in my possession. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be selling him. I think I'm probably going to keep him and kind of explain that this is why we should support small breeders who actually care about their animals and not places like PetSmart and PetGo uh, where this snake that's currently upside down and waving through the air looking absolutely miserable came from. And this isn't an unusual snake. This is exactly what you get when you get the spider morph. So let's pay attention to where we're getting our animals from and let's have a little bit of respect for the animals that we're dealing with. And if you're a breeder and you breed these, why? 